Hi, I'm Kyle. I had this idea for a project when I was looking at Leet Code one day and found a Sudoku solver as a puzzle. Um, I found it to be a fun challenge, and I'm proud to say that my submission was in the top 8% for runtimes. Uh, don't look at the memory usage, though, just ignore that. Um, but yeah, I had a lot of fun making this project, and today I wanted to explain how it works. So, we start by taking the image and processing that down into just some numbers. Um, so, first we take the image and we use canny edge detection to reduce the image down to just its lines. Then, we look for the largest contour in that set of lines. That largest contour would be the perimeter of the Sudoku puzzle. Using that contour, we can then just crop the image from there to just have the puzzle. And then since it's a simple 9x9 nine nine grid, we can just divide it into 9 rows and columns to get 81 sub-images. We go through each of those images, and using PyTesseract OCR, we just take a guess at what number is in there, if there's any number at all. Um, and then I added a quick double check feature um, to allow you to edit any mistakes that the camera software made. Now that we have the numbers, we're on to actually solving the puzzle. I feel the best way to explain this algorithm is by walking through our strategy towards progressively harder Sudoku puzzles. Let's start with the easiest possible Sudoku. Only one square is unfilled. Before we look at the rest of the puzzle, we know that this square must be something from a 1 to a 9. We take a look at the row, column, and subsquare of that empty cell, removing any candidate that we find from the possible answers for this square. There's a 5 in this row, so this square cannot be a 5. Once we get down to one valid candidate, we know that that number must be the one for that square. Now, let's look at a slightly harder puzzle. We'll start by making a list of all of the empty squares in the puzzle, and giving each of them a list of candidates that could fill it. Unlike the first puzzle, we may not have enough information to fill a square after just one look at the puzzle. If we've exhausted all possible checks, then we just move on to the next one. We just keep passing through the empty squares, and as we fill in the squares, it gives us more information about the remaining ones. If you've played Sudoku before, uh, I'm sure you're familiar with this process. This process will get you through the bulk of easy Sudoku puzzles. As the problems get tougher, we have to resort to using even more complicated solving strategies. I'm not going to read that. I'd much rather employ recursive backtracking. Recursion is when something calls itself. Say you were not good at Sudoku, but you had a cloning machine. When you get to the point when that basic strategy is not making any progress, you take the square that you're closest to filling and just take a guess. You make a copy, grab a clone, and tell him to solve the Sudoku. One of three things will happen. The guess was correct and he'll hand you back a solved Sudoku. He'll get to a point where the Sudoku is impossible, recognized by a square having no possible candidates, and be understandably upset. Or, he'll get to the same point where he's not making any progress, at which point he'll take another guess on another square and pass it to another clone. If you get handed back a ripped up puzzle, then you just take another guess from the possibilities for that square and do it all again. That looks a little bit like this. A tree of Sudoku puzzles. Each level down the tree representing another guess deep. Say you guessed that some square was a 1. Then on that puzzle you got to a point where you guessed that another square was a 4. That 4 led to a dead end, so you backtrack, and guess a 5 instead of a 4. Say that 5 didn't work, and that was your last option. Then you backtrack to your initial guess, and guess a 2 instead of a 1. Then on that puzzle, you guess another square as a 4. And then on that puzzle, you guess another square as a 4, and then you solve the puzzle from that point. You stop it all right there, unless you want to look for multiple solutions. Now this algorithm can solve any Sudoku puzzle, given enough time. Uh, that's it. I posted the code to my GitHub, which is in the description, if you want to take a look and play around with it. Um, if you like stuff like this, please subscribe and uh, let me know if you have any ideas for stuff like this.